Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a chit chat get ready with me for you guys creating this look right here. I didn't really know what I was going for throughout the video but it came out like this and I really really like it and I was being rushed towards the end of the video. So if I'm like all over the place times 10, that's why. So I really hope you guys like this look I created. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to comment down below in my comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos from me. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I don't normally do my eyebrows on camera. But I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows on camera today. Because I don't usually do this and you guys are probably wondering like how I do my eyebrows so yeah all I'm doing is aligning the bottom of my brow with my ColourPop eyebrow pencil in I'm not sure what the color because it rubbed off so I think it's in the color dark deepest dark or dark deep I don't know I'm not sure of the color so I'm lining the bottom of my eyebrow with my ColourPop pencil and then I brush the top of my eyebrow down to see the shape and then I'm going to outline the top of my brow. And I bring my arch up a little bit more than I really need to, but it's whatever. <laughs> okay, and that's how I outline my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna take my Anastasia Brow Definer. Where is it? Okay, I found it. So now I'm gonna take my brow definer from Anastasia and dark brown and fill in my eyebrows. And I think I'm running out. Hmm. Yes, I'm definitely running out because it just fell out. This is all I have left. No. I think the next one I'm gonna try is the dip brow pomade, I guess. I think that's the name of it. I think I'm gonna try that next, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrow and I'm just drawing lines downward and that's how I feel in my brow and then up here at the front of my brow I'm going to draw lines to mimic hair and my hair grows like this so that's why I'm drawing lines like curved lines because that's how my hair grows so yeah and now I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut with my angled brush from Revlon and clean up my brows and make them pop. Okay, now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to go in with the same concealer and prime my eyelid. And this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. I'm not sure what I'm going for today. I know I want to do something with gold and purple let's see what i actually do i'm not really sure how i want to start talking about this issue that's going on because i've been talking about what's going on with you know my best friend when i first found out about the two men that got killed by police officers and i watched the video i cried to see that happen to somebody and to see somebody taking their last breath and to see a girlfriend um not being able to help her boyfriend to see that these men didn't do anything wrong to see that was very disturbing and very scary and very hurtful because this keeps happening that could have easily been an uncle a friend i feel like i'm looking at my world history textbook back in ninth grade reading about what happened to us in the past and it's crazy to actually be looking at the same thing that was happening back then happening again and i just don't understand um i don't want to get myself mad in this video because every time i talk about this i get pissed off because some ignorant person or somebody trying to be funny always says the wrong thing and it really just pisses me off so i'm really not trying to get mad in this video because i've i've already cried i've already been mad and i don't want to be mad anymore i mean we have the right to be mad we have the right to be sad we have the right to be hurt because it keeps happening to us and for the people that keep saying oh all lives matter or what about all lives matter or this this that and the third you can clearly tell that all lives do not matter when 
stuff like this keeps happening. If all lives mattered, I would not be talking about this. I just set my eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And now I'm going to be putting down my transition color. And I'm going to be taking brown script from MAC with my Morphe M441 brush. And I'm just going to blend that into my crease. My heart goes out to the families that have been affected. And I'm going to link the GoFundMe account down below. I think you guys already know about it. Um, so I'll link it down below if you want to donate. And I'll probably link some other stuff down below. Make sure you guys are registered to vote. And I'll link that down below. Just go ahead and register to vote. Like, I don't even know what else to say about the situation. I'm getting hot talking about it. And I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, learn about the um, police policies. Just know the police policies in your town. Stay positive because we have accomplished so much. My camera cut off, so I don't know where I left off at, but just pray, stay positive. We have gone through a lot and we can get through this. I've seen so many African American people accomplish so much, so much throughout the years and I'm proud, very, very, very proud. All the businesses that we are opening, um, you know, just, doing our thing what we normally do let me get my head right because i don't know what look i'm going for okay so now i'm going to take my sosu sam palette and i'm going to take this purple color right up here and put this into my crease with my uh, coastal scents brush i'm not sure of the number because it rubbed off and do not come into my comments with your unnecessary comments if you don't have anything positive to say about the situation if you don't have any encouraging words to say about the situation um if you don't have this if you don't have anything positive to say about the situation do not say that at all do not put it on my video so yeah <laughs> oh i know i got a comment yesterday and this girl was asking me um i'll probably pop up the comment on the screen because she said hi i'm a 10th grader in high school and my mom hates makeup but i want to learn how to do my eyebrows but i dk how to tell her dot 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 what should i do girl <laughs> your mom hates makeup i'm taking this color right here so i'm just taking that color and blending that into my crease as well hopefully this look comes out right because i don't really know what i'm doing right now just tell your dad how you feel or just try to tell your mom how you feel and what you want to do and you know, or if you live in North Carolina, um, some of the malls have a booth and it's called Flory Roberts. Go to Flory Roberts and ask them for an eyebrow demo with your mom being there, of course. I guess that's going to kind of push her into it because you're already at the mall and you're already being stopped. So, And you can also go into Mac and ask them to show you how to do your eyebrows with your mom being there, of course. Um, I'm low-key kind of scared of my mom so I don't really rebel against what she says. I kind of just conform or just chill <laughs> for the time being. So yeah, if your mom hates makeup, I don't know. I don't know. You guys help her out. Leave some comments down below to tell her, you know, what to do. Um, because I really didn't have that problem when I was in 9th and 10th grade. Um, my mom kind of let me experiment with makeup. I don't know why she let me do that, but <laughs> she let me, she let me be free and experiment with the makeup. So I'm gonna take this color right here and deepen my crease up a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take my blending brush and make sure everything is blending nicely so now i'm going to take my mac mixing medium and prime my eyelids with that and i'm going to take this gold color right here and put that on my eyelid i'm just going to pack that one Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this color right here. I'm going to start on the outer corner first and then work my way up to blend this color into the gold. 
And then I'm going to take this pink color up here, right here, and just lay a little bit over that. Going back into the same Nubian palette by Julia's Place or Java's Place, I'm going to take this color right here. And this is a gray color, but I really, really like it because it adds some dimension to my eyes. So I'm going to add that right here in the outer corner of my eye and blend it in. Now for eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Sigma Liquid Eyeliner. It's just a matte black liquid eyeliner. Okay, so that is my eyeliner and now I'm going to go ahead and apply some lashes and now I'm going to put on some mascara to blend my lashes with my falsies. So yeah, this is how my eyes are looking so far and now we're going to move on to the face. Okay, so I'm going to be priming my face with the Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer and then I'm going to go in with the Baby Skin Pore Erasing Primer to fill in my pores and give the foundation a smooth canvas to lay on. So that's that. And now I'm going to go in with the baby skin from Maybelline. And just put this all over my face. Mainly in the center because that's where I have the most visible pores. I apologize if I'm talking too low. Okay, for foundation today, I'm going to be taking my Flory Roberts Cream to Powder Foundation in Mink. I'm going to be using my e.l.f stippling brush to apply this foundation. Right now, this is the only foundation that's really matching me. My L'Oreal True Match foundation, it's a tad bit too light and that's not cute. So I'm using this one for the time being because I don't think they have a deeper color in that foundation. I needed this color for the summer, so you know. <laughs> but yeah, I love this foundation because it feels like there's nothing on my face which is probably why I put more on than I actually need to, but it's whatever. Now I'm going to be highlighting my face with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and Chestnut. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Conceal and Correct Concealer and put that right on top of that just to give me more of a highlight. I'm blending out my concealer with my Aesthetica Beauty Sponge, which is about to break apart. But like I said in my last makeup video, I'm going to use these sponges until they all fall apart. And then I'm going to invest in a real beauty blender. I already tried the um, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and those are some good beauty sponges if you don't want to fork out the money for the real beauty blender, but I already tried them and I just feel like I need to just go ahead and get the beauty blenders instead of trying to find a dupe. Now that I have that concealer blended out, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. And I'm just going to pat this into my skin until it disappears. And then I'm just going to take it and set the rest of my face especially around my mouth because this area likes to crease. Now I'm going to contour my face and I'm going to be using my True Complexion Contour Palette. Uh, I have been obsessed with this palette. Like I literally, I can't put it down. It's the best thing ever. So if you see it, get it because it's bomb. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm doing a, a makeup challenge video? Like why do I feel like I have to do my makeup in five minutes. Okay, going back to my eyes, I'm just gonna take whatever is left on this brush and kind of smoke out that bottom lash line. Then I'm gonna take this other shade of purple in the So Sand palette right here. Now for blush, I'm going to be using my Black Radiance Blush in 09 with my Real Technique Blush Brush. To 
to highlight, I'm using this same gold color. Okay, I'm gonna take this blush brush from BH Cosmetics and make sure everything is blending together flawlessly. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I set my face with the Scandinavia setting spray right here. And for my lips, I use Abu Dhabi and London in a brown lip liner. Abu Dhabi and London is from NYX. I'll put them down below. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I created this duo chrome brown greenish warm smoky eye with this soft pink glossy lip. So the light, no. Because when that concealer dries, it dries to like the color of my skin. Oh, I didn't contour my nose. Oh my God. <laughs> okay.